Hey, good morning. 5 a.m. Mr. Scrum Show. Hope you're doing well. Got a little bit of different things for you today. Just start a new contract. And I figured I'd share the things I do when I work with a new team, new contract, even when I'm coaching multiple teams and questions I ask and check on for those teams I'm coaching too, as well in large organizations. So it kind of applies everywhere and you, you can adapt it. But six things that I look at first or set up first for myself for whatever engagement I am getting into. And this is the 5 a.m. Master Scrum Show. I am Greg Master, Scrum Master and Agile Coach. And here we talk about Scrum and Agile in a very practical and tactical way so you can bring value to your customer, not work crazy hours to bring that value and have a little fun along the way. So these are the things I do to bring that value quickly and spend my time effectively when I work with a group. So six things, as I said, I just got a kind of, and we talked about the connections the other day. We talked about um, what do you do when you're in that tough spot and you're in your layoff and, 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 and key is connections. And I give credit for one of my connections who helped me get one of these gigs because they knew me, they knew what I've done. We've talked in the past, we've worked together and they had something they needed help with. So sure, let's do it. And that's ha that's a, a primary way you get these these jobs, uh, as well as marketing. So, let's talk about it. You're you're an agile coach. You're a scrum master. Uh, they gave you a new team or a new spot, or you're new to the company, right? A lot of new jobs, people transferring, going to new places. What do you do first? First one, first one, get access to the system. <laughs> people be amazed. It's like, yeah, you really want to make sure you have access remote everything, whether you be in the office or a remotely um, outside and Bubbles is here. I don't know if you can see her tail, but she's definitely here shaking the camera. Bubbles, stop shaking the camera. She's a big old alley cat. Come here. You want to say hi? Come here. Oh, there. She says she wants to say hi. All right. She said hi. Then maybe she'll calm down. Um. So the first thing we'll make sure you have access. And it could take a while, depending on the access is what you see and everything. And the next thing is like their calendar system, their email system. Most places use Outlook. There's all these nuances um, that are there. One of the first things I do once I get into Outlook is I look at calendars. I look at key people's calendars and I actually, you want to call them, stalk them. So first one is access to is Outlook in the calendar system. And where you have your calendar, I actually add their emails and put their calendars in mind. So like if I have to work with scrum masters, product owners, managers, um, key people, tech people, whatever they are that I'm gonna work with this new team, I actually go find their calendars, put it next to mine so that I can see how busy they are. What's a common meeting time? Because a lot of times I look at these people, hey, I just got here. What is this meeting that everyone goes to at 10 o'clock on Thursdays, right? Gives you, things to ask for where to go to because it's all about communications when we when we do the agile when we work in the agile world it is all about communications to be honest with you so that's one of the things i do so i i get access i get access to the outlook system make sure i can see other people's calendars because sometimes there's nuances there especially with the 360 and locals and all that kind of stuff so and then i look and see what everyone's calendars are third one is the chat system Whatever chat system have, whether it be Teams, Slack, I don't know. There's a bunch of ones out there right now. Um, I get access to their chat so they know how they're communicating on a day-to-day -day basis. One of the key things I ask for as a team, do you have a central team channel that you share ideas among the team? Uh, that could be a telltale sign if, if you don't have one or they don't use one of other things. But I do get access to the channel chat and ask what channels do you listen, you do you watch or monitor? So I'm saying, listen, from your chat, right? So getting those, getting invited to those are key to the start. So we got access, we have Outlook in their calendars, we have chat in the channels that they, they use. And then the fourth one is the video access. Because we are in a virtual world, you want to know that you have access to call, have a meeting, have video conversations with other people. And there's could be some nuances to that. And you actually want to practice it, by the way. You just want to say, oh, I have access. That doesn't mean it works. 
you need to get it in there and actually turn it on, set up a meeting with yourself or other people there to make sure you have the system down pat. If you're a scrum master and you haven't accessed the video chat and how to do that, then, then you really need to do that. And business, business analyst, product owner, you really need to go into the, and, and doing things like that. Um, so that's fourth is the video monitoring, right? Fifth, since we are in the business of doing work and stuff like that, I look at the um, Jira, right? I look at whatever system we're using, developers, Jira, Rally, whatever, whatever their backlog is, how do they manage their work? So number five is how do they manage their work? Whatever system it is, right? I look. I, I I like to have a backlog walkthrough. I like people to walk me through their backlog. How do you manage your backlog? What do you do? You'd be surprised how many people have spreadsheets and things like that on the outside of their system that they use to manage their work. Ask those questions. Don't assume everything's in the key uh, system like Jira or, or DevOps Azure or, or Rally that they don't have stuff tracking on the outside in spreadsheets. Get a copies of the spreadsheets. Don't ask. Don't hesitate to ask. Um, how is the work created? Who does it? Is it is it like um, ServiceNow? Is it another ticketing system? Um, there's other things out there that maybe they generate tickets and it gets put in the system. How do they control work coming in and bugs and things like that? How do they manage that? So ask about that. Get access. See how it works, right? So this is all part of that intake system and how they manage their backlog. Um whatever projects they're working on in the system, right? What are their filters they're using to view it? Get copies, get access, make sure you have access to them because a lot of these things are controlled and maintained and you may not have access, access and visibility. So get access to those things. And the last one, six reports. What reports are people handing up the chain and sharing about the current status of their teams? Is it in an automated fashion? Is it a handmade report? Is it a guesstimate? Is it maybe it's from uh, Microsoft Project or something like that? Maybe it's slides. Get copies of those reports that people are given so you can get an idea what they're looking for, what information they share, and maybe what information they're not sharing and they don't understand the power of some of these automated tools to make their lives easier. So those are the six things that I use when, when I come on a new team or, or how they go about doing things. I look for access. I look at Outlook calendars. I look at the chat system and the channels that they chat as teams or don't chat, to be honest with you. Look at video um, presentation, the, the team setups. Um, and I practice with them, make sure it actually physically works because every time I go on, different things happen with those video chats no matter where I go. Um, the fifth thing is a look at whatever system they use for monitoring their backlog and their intake for the work, how they go do it. And then the sixth one, the sixth one comes bubbles. Of course, she's like, oh, your hands are not petting me. The sixth one is I look at what reports they generate for their, for their managers because you're going to want to know what information might be asked from you and what can you automate because a lot of these places don't know how to do that, really. So you want to be quick and effective on how you do it. And we got a comment. Let's see what the comment says. Good morning. Okay. Hey, Nicole. Good morning. So we'll just show Nicole's comment. There we go. Good morning. Thank you. Um, hi, Bubbles. Bubbles, you have a fan. Bubbles, here. You want to see Bubbles? I'm here, Bubbles. There's Bubbles. Bubbles a big alley cat. Okay. That's enough Bubbles. She's over here pestering me. She's like, you're not petting me. Um, she's really pushy today. <laughs> anyway, but those are the six things you can do when you come to a new group. They apply to even new teams internally, to be honest with you, because every team is unique. Every team does things a little bit different, and it's good to ask and inquire how they do that. So with that, that's what we have for today's show. I want to wish you the best of luck. If you have any questions, getting new, what you could do, send me a message. Um, connect at 5 a.m. Master Scrum. We do have our Slack channel, which is a great way. Like, hey, I got a new team. This is what I'm seeing. How do you do that? How do you handle those situations? Those are great ways of communicating. And I do the coaching thing, right? So if you're looking to progress, got a new team, promote. So cute. Where can we?
There we go. So dude, I'm working with my scrum masters right now in metrics. So this is helpful. Okay, great. That's great. Metrics are good. So you want to see what, what they need, right? What the managers are looking for. And we got to do a metric show, how to build a dashboard at some point. Anyway, she's like, drive me nuts. All right. I want to wish you all a great day. Have fun. Enjoy. And uh, I'm just laughing at the cat. She so wants my attention. All right. Take care, everyone. And don't forget, it's like, it doesn't take much. Six things. Um, keep your time to where you need to be. Know who you need to talk to. And if you notice everything I mentioned, it's all about communications, connecting with people, finding the opportunities to talk your language and have a common conversation. All right. Take care. Bye. See you tomorrow. And have fun.